He arose. He's gone ahead. And finally, we will see Him. We will see Him. See, Jesus kept His word. He told His followers that He would see them in Galilee. And today, you and I can, can have hope in the promise of John 14, verse 3, when He said, And if I go and prepare a place for you, I'll come again and receive you to Myself, that where I am, there you may be also. Just as He kept His word to His disciples and saw them in Galilee, he is keeping His Word to us. He is preparing a place for us so that we can be with Him. Amen. What better news is there? So to die in Jesus is to go home and be where we truly belong. Perhaps the Apostle, the Apostle Paul said it best. He said to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Amen. That's good news, folks. Jesus really died. He really arose from the grave and He really will return someday. So whether we die or, or whether we're still here at the second coming, we will see Jesus. And During His ascension, His followers were described by Luke in the book of Acts as looking intently up into the sky. When these two angels appeared to them and, and proclaimed, Men of Galilee, why do you stand here looking into the sky? This same Jesus, who has been taken from you into heaven, will come back in the same way that you've seen Him go into heaven. Throughout the New Testament, the imminent return of Christ is proclaimed. Christ Himself proclaimed it in the Gospels. The apostles proclaimed it in their letters. And just in case we didn't get the message, Christ proclaimed it again. Numerous times in the Revelation. So for the Christian, there's hope in the promise that we'll see Him again. We will see Him someday. And heaven will be heaven because Jesus is there. Likewise, hell will be hell because He won't be there. 